It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from Chula Vista, California. Uh, Hannah and I are here at a little garden that we installed just about six weeks ago. And our client called very concerned because she's had some casualties. We had a hot, hot summer and it's so, this was just bad timing. It got hot about a month after, or three weeks after this garden went in. And we had some losses. And I thought this would be really important to show you because maybe you guys have had some losses too. Why did we have losses? This garden is on subterranean drip and these plants are just babies. You know, in these one gallon cans that we install, they're usually just little one inch plugs that are stuck into a one gallon can. So they have very sensitive, gentle, small roots. And our client was doing some hand watering too. She thought that would be helpful. And the plants just, you know, rotted. This is also somewhat summer, right? Like it's, this is common in the Well, summer. yeah, in the it's summer, fun. especially when it's hot, it, you know, this is, this is going to happen. And it's so funny because like, you know, it didn't happen here, but it happened here. You know, it didn't happen here, but it happened here. So this 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 dieback are you seeing this guys on your plants there's a couple of things you can do now that the weather's cooling down these plants are going to wake up from dormancy and they are going to grow and they're going to be fine so you can just pick off the dead parts take your your top dressing you know and kind of fill in the gaps okay, like mom. this okay, mom. see and that's one solution or, you know, you can pop in fresh plant material. What we're going to do today is pop in some fresh plant material because this is such a young installation and I feel it's, it's only right to replace some things that have died. And know for yourselves that if this has happened to you, shade is better than water in the heat. If it isn't possible to shade your plants, make sure that you withdraw water until the heat has passed and your plants have awakened from dormancy, then it's fine to apply a little water again. It's a wrap in Chula Vista. Took Hannah and I about 30 minutes and, you know, some one gallon, new one gallon plants uh, to just kind of refresh. We didn't have to pull a lot out. A few things we did, but most of it was okay. We just needed to kind of shove it together and clean the dead leaves off and push more rock around it. There was some gaps. Uh, which happens, you know, as the plants start to shrink, it opens up space where you can see dirt and then the roots are exposed and the soil's exposed. So we just took a little rock and pushed, re-pushed the rock in tight around the base of the plant. And that'll help keep air from, from pockets from getting down inside. Uh, now that the weather is cooler, we want to the opposite is the case and we want to retain moisture now so yeah guys it's not I'm always talking about how easy this is and and it is generally speaking but when we have weather events that are unseasonable or unexpected the plants can trip and it requires some instincts so if you lose some things don't feel bad or feel like you're not a good gardener just learn from it uh, remember, oh, this struggled last year when it was really, really hot. Or I, you know, I kept these plants wet when maybe I should have let them dry. Just again, experiment, try things. Don't be afraid. Expect some casualties from time to time. It happens. And know that at the end of the day, everything is going to be okay. I'm really excited to show you this garden again in about a year when we do our first maintenance. It's going to be so flushed out. It'll be two or three times the size that it is now. We have got through this first awkward summer and now everything is a go moving into the fall. Thank you so much for following, for sharing, for liking these videos and for supporting me and my crew every single day. This has been Laura Eubanks reporting from Chula Vista. Bye guys.